So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be, be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Alongside our famous individualism, there's another ingredient in the American saga, a belief that we're all connected as one people. If there is a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read, that matters to me even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs and having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer even if it's not my grandparent. It is that fundamental belief I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper that makes this country work. E pluribus unum. Out of many, one. He gives a speech that presages his entire political message of 2008, which is this sort of postpartisan argument. Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well. I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. Obama was born with two great gifts. Uh, one is his mind, and the other is his ability to speak to large groups of people. There are three things that Obama does that really makes that speech effective. He wants concrete detail. He likes story. And he loves antithesis, the use of repetition and structure to show contrast. There is not a liberal America or a conservative America. There is one America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. The pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, but I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states, and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states, and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes, all of us defending the United States of America. The way he uses his hands, he actually points a lot and does a lot of this, and a lot of this, and a lot of that. In doing so, he gives off this sense of energy. I am new. I'm someone who is dynamic. The rules are impossibly simple until you try to play the game and then you find that they're possibly simply impossible. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I didn't think it was as funny as that, but you can... <laughs> I will ask each player in turn to speak on the subject that I give them, and they will try and do that without hesitation, repetition, or deviation. 
At any time, one of the other three can challenge, and if I uphold that challenge, they gain a point. And if not, the person speaking gains a point and continues with the subject. Until the whistle goes, and that tells us that 60 seconds have elapsed. And by the way, they can repeat the subject on the card. Phil, would you take the first subject? The Bermuda Triangle. You have 60 seconds as usual, starting now. The Bermuda Triangle is an area of sea that has caused the disappearance of many travellers, be they in boats, ships, trawlers, dinghies, <laughs> aeroplanes, <laughs> balloons, schooners, dirigibles, <laughs> gliders, or other methods of transport. <laughs> its mysteries have puzzled travellers for a thousand... <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Still on your channel. Yeah, but a repeat of travellers. Yes, there were travellers before, but what a lovely list he did there without pausing there. Sue, you have a correct challenge. You have 36 seconds. The Bermuda Triangle, and you start now. The Bermuda Triangle is not, as one might think, the special green one you get in the assortment chocolate box at Christmas, <laughs> although you can equally get lost in its charms. It is, as Phil has so perfectly described, an area of ocean mysterious, where those who venture far into its clutches disappear without trace. Some would say a conspiracy theory. I am not cognizant of such things. I imagine there's a tectonic plate that's shifted, stuff goes into it, but I never studied geology. Could it be something to do with the moon casting its... Yeah. 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 